Here's how to use ChatGPT with Siri on your iPhone. Now, if you've upgraded to the latest iOS operating system, then you can use ChatGPT built into Siri. I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head into the settings here on your phone, and we need to make sure that you have the latest operating system. So let's tap on general here and then software update. You need to have iOS operating system 18.2 or later. So just upgrade to the latest version. You can see again, it's iOS 18.2 as of right now. After you've done that, we're just going to go back out of here. And you can see under the action button is Apple Intelligence and Siri. So tap on there and you can see Apple Intelligence is turned on and talk to Siri is turned off, but you can switch it to Hey Siri or just have the side button initiate Siri. Now, after we've done that, let's go back here and you can see under there is extensions and ChatGPT is automatically in here. So I can tap on it and it says, use ChatGPT to help you write, create images, etc." Now we're gonna do two different things. We're gonna turn on setup prompts. This says, allow Siri to suggest using ChatGPT when it can't answer the question. And then we're gonna tap set up here. And next, and enable. Now on here, I've turned it on just like that, but I also wanted to log into my ChatGPT account. So I'm going to hit sign in and especially if you pay for a premium chat GPT version, it will allow you to have access to all those. But also just if you sign in, it will know you and recognize all of the data you've put on there. And if you have certain limits, it will allow you to have more basically use of the chat GPT features. Now, all right, we've done all that. We've set it all up. I'll show you how it works. So if I tap and hold on this side button to initiate Siri, I can say stuff like, what's the weather today in North Carolina? And it'll pop up with just the Siri option. However, if it can't answer that specific question, if Siri can't answer that question, then you can use ChatGPT and it will automatically default to ChatGPT. So I'm going to do something like write a poem about today. And it says I'll need to use ChatGPT and you can hit use ChatGPT. Uh, for whatever reason, it says it's unavailable, maybe because I just initiated it. Maybe you need to give it a bit of time after initiating it. But essentially, Siri will answer the questions that it thinks it can answer. And when it knows it doesn't have an answer to that, well, oftentimes like creating various things or really complex questions, then it will kick it over to ChatGPT to do that directly on your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.